Hey, this video tutorial is going to show you how to add a watermark to your photographs using your new logo. So, there are two ways to do this. One way is to select everything by going to edit. Sorry, no, go to select all. And you'll have these dancing ants around the perimeter of your image. And then go to edit. You want to copy merge because if you just copy, you're only copying whichever layer you have selected. However, if you copy merge, you're copying all the layers as if they are flattened together. And you can come over and go to edit, paste. Now the image is right here. You want to change to your move tool image is super huge so I'm going to zoom out by clicking control minus on my keyboard. Now I'm going to transform the image by going to edit, transform, scale. I'm holding down shift on my keyboard so that the image can stay proportionate and shrinking it. Letting go shift and moving it holding shift again and clicking in any corner and just shrinking it down. The reason why I have to hold shift is if I don't that your logo is going to warp like this. So I have to hold down shift as I move it. Move on to the image. Now I'm going to click control plus to zoom in and get a better look. You can add it wherever you like. And then click enter to confirm it. Now you'll see the image really isn't like you can't see behind it. I think we can do better so we're gonna come over here and this time we're gonna select all of these images by clicking on this group of this group of uh, layers. Make sure that you don't just have one layer selected you want the whole group and I'm gonna separate this window and come back all the way to here. So I'm just going to drag this entire group of layers over on top of your image. It's going to take a lot of load because the file is really big. Basically what this is doing is selecting everything that it can to carry over. Now I'm going to drag this back into the tab. Zoom out again so I can uh, see everything. Go to edit. You want to transform the scale again. And shrink it down really small. And I think because my computer's moving so slow, it just hasn't even realized that it's been shrunk yet, which is fine. Click enter on your keyboard to tell it to transform. Wait for it to load. I'm going to click control plus 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 to zoom in. And you'll see the difference is that this logo it's like not transparent and this one you can see through it. I'm going to shrink it a little bit more. So it's the same size as the first example. And the reason why that color is like super blue right now is because when you're transforming it just hasn't uh, figured everything out yet. Just hit enter to let it know you're done and then it'll confirm that the colors will go back to normal. However, you'll see that the top layer is not gray right now on the left hand side. And so, basically this is the first logo that I copied over, and this is the second logo. I'm going to drop down this box and delete this first layer. And I'll show you how I made the first layer so that you can get the side gray. So you click down here, create new fill or adjustment layer, and we want to do human saturation. I'm going to bring it down to gray. And 
close this box. Right now it's on top of layer one, however I need it up there, on top of everything. So right now it turned everything gray. And I'm going to come over here and get the black paintbrush. And just color in the parts that I want color. And you can see over here in this little image shows where I'm adding black at. And if I switch this from black to white, I can fix up this part here. I'll switch it back to black. I'm going to close this group and I think we're just going to stick with this second logo that I pasted on. Shrink it down. And move it to our one. Click enter to confirm. And that's basically how you can add your logo as a watermark to your photographs.